Okay, we're on Yuvamot. Perket Zayin Mishnah Vav. Continuing to discuss the kinds of testimony or information that's sufficient in order to determine that a person is no longer alive. And I want to point out that, remember, we, we, we talked about, in this, in, this, in this halacha, we talked about a number of times the idea, idea of himnu Rabbanan Eidecha Mishum Aguna. Because of this concept of Aguna, the Rabbanan are permitted, we're very lenient in this area. We're going to see this actually at the, in the very last Mishnah, the next Mishnah. But it's also important to point, uh, to point out that there was simply no information. People just, the, the way people learned about things was by passing information from one person to another. There was no records. There was no internet, of course. There was no books, even. So the way you heard about things was by passing information from one person to another. So this had to be the system of information that people had. They heard, I saw, somebody told me. And if that's all you've got, then you have to sometimes rely on incomplete information. You can't have, you don't have DNA proof. That's something that's clear when you learn to read the Mishnah, the Chazal, went out of their way because otherwise people would be stuck in, women would be stuck in marriages for their whole lives and there was just no way for them to know. Says the Mishnah, You can testify even by candlelight or by moonlight. Oh, I saw the person is dead. Could you be sure it's not enough light? Nonetheless, it's okay. Batkol is a voice, a nameless voice. Now, this is not the kind of Batkol uh, that, uh, that we normally hear, that you hear from the sky, you know, a voice comes out of heaven from the fantastic stories in the Gemara. Rather, this is something else. The Mishnah explains. There's a story about a person who stood on a mountain and said, Ish ploni ben ploni mi makom ploni mate. Okay, the, the, you know, John Doe from, you know, from wherever, makom ploni, from this place is dead. So they went, they went to the top of the mountain and nobody was there anymore. And they married his wife, they allowed his wife to remarry. I mean, the back call is a voice we can't even determine who the author, who the person of the voice is. Shamu called Sivchat Plonimet. They heard a voice saying, Frank is dead. Frank Gary is dead. What are we going to do? Oy. That's enough. That's a bat call. Even though it's not, it's not testimony, but it's sufficient. Similarly, Shuma said it's Salmon Bechad Shamar. Another story in Salmon. Salmon, the Kahati says is, Kahati says is, I think it's a Galil Hatachton, a place in the Galil. The guy got up and he went, you know, like he was on top of a mountain, on top of a hill, and he says, my name is John Doe. I've been bitten by a snake. I'm going to die. I feel it. They, they died. and They didn't recognize him. And then they sent a message and they permitted his wife to remarry. Meaning that's sufficient. He identified himself for the purposes of, of, of allowing his wife to marry, to remarry. That's a real dedication. Even his last act was to make sure that his wife wasn't an aguna. We'll stop here and dedicate our learning, as we always do, to the memory of my feet, the memory of my father, Arav Simcha Ben Yitzchak, and my Have a great day.